What's up guys, it's Deadly Strike for Zombies Intel and I have so much to talk to you about so we better get going. This video might be really long, I'm sorry uh, right now, uh, but if you stay throughout the whole video you might learn a few interesting things. So let's get started. First, uh, as you may or may not know, uh, Moon, well basically the map pack, the fourth map pack is coming out August 23rd, 2011 on Xbox first uh, because of whatever the Microsoft uh, deal and it comes out I think one month after on PS3 and PC so for the Xbox users we're gonna have a lot of fun and I want to talk to you guys about our new schedule uh, as you may have heard in the other video my brother made uh, Carl is gonna post a video on Monday uh, post videos sorry on Mondays and I'm gonna post videos on Thursdays but obviously there's so much stuff going on that we're going to post stuff in between because we don't want to keep you guys waiting you know uh, so obviously when the map pack comes out we're going to talk we're going to have a lot of videos and but during the school year and all that we're going to have a fixed schedule so let's talk about the moon uh, first of all as you see on your screen right now on the Treyarch website um, there's going to be fluctuating gravity it's kind. Of, it was kind of obvious, you know. You're on the moon base, so the gravity is probably controlled by, like, an electric source or something, an energy source. So for sure, there's going to be fluctuating gravity. Uh, you know, if there's a zombie apocalypse, then the systems are for sure to malfunction one day or, another, or the other. So I'm not surprised. Uh, but the thing is, uh, they talk about it, like they say the astronauts aren't going to be affected by it. So that I think it's gonna be like a boss round so every like what four or five rounds you were gonna have like problems with the gravity and the astronauts are gonna be the bosses and we have to fight them off with the fluctuating gravity so what you guys probably think is like what the hell fluctuating gravity like what like well first of all on the moon it's not like there's no gravity there's gravity there's I think it's 1.4 times the gravity of the earth or, sorry, the gravity is 1.4 times the gravity of the moon. Basically, you have less gravity, so you'll be able to jump higher, uh, float around and stuff. And what I found interesting is that Treyarch already develop, developed like a way to swim around. Like, in the campaign mode, you could swim. And if you guys look at this uh, video from Amazing Films 24-7, it's a channel. If you haven't subscribed, subscribe. It's really funny. Um, this guy is floating around basically he's just floating around in the air so it, it makes me think like it's, it's possible that we'll be able to float around like that and just swim into the empty space but there's gravity so once again it's all depending on the fluctuating gravity like they say if, if it goes in then like negative then we'll be able to float like that like in empty space so we'll see and also I want to talk to you about the empty space like you see in the picture right now this looks like it's taken outside I don't know if it's in the dome or something but if it's outside then we won't be able to communicate with each other unless uh, they're wearing like space suits and they have radio but well I I think they will because they're gonna die in the atmosphere of the moon they well there's basically no atmosphere so they're just gonna freeze up and stuff so I don't know, they're probably going to have spacesuits and they're probably going to walk around uh, with the radios, but we never know. Um, okay, now I want to talk to you about the new gun, the wave gun. Uh, as the name says, wave gun, it's obvious that it's going to shoot waves of energy. It could be microwaves or just waves of energy like uh, light beams or something. Um, what's interesting about that is it's the only thing that can travel through space because uh, it, it travels through vacuum so it can go it can't shoot and hit zombies so that's why like with the empty space you see right now maybe it's the only gun that will be allowed to sh like to shoot in the vacuum of uh, the moon because uh, guns w like guns wouldn't work so it's a it's a just a thought so now I'm gonna to talk to you about the new perk um, 
it, on the the track website it only says uh, for thrice the fun so thrice is three times so what the hell does that mean uh, if you guys don't know syndicate the syndicate project uh, he had a really good um, idea of what that new perk might be uh, may you might be able to hold three guns that would be pretty amazing so three guns for thrice the sling uh, that would be pretty awesome uh, or you might be able it might be like triple points but that would be really just way too insane and uh, like I, I couldn't believe it but uh, well we never know we're gonna find out soon and now I wanna finally I wanna talk to you about the new equipment the quantum entanglement device what the fuck is that um, for some of you that are way too young and haven't done quantum physics yet uh, I have in uh, CJEP and university, I, I've studied a bit of it. Um, what I can tell you, what my opinion, the quantum entanglement device will do. Well, first of all, on the website it says it's going to be good or a curse. So already we know that the device might malfunction or the just the the, the whole thing might just not work or might make zombies stronger, maybe. Um, but first I want to talk to you about the Schrodinger's cat. It's uh, an experiment that was done by Schrodinger. Basically they put a cat in a box and they put poison and they closed up the box and they couldn't tell if it was alive or dead. So that's basically the fundamentals of quantum physics. It's that everything is by probability. So you never know what can happen because we, there's no way to measure precisely the, the quantum development of the universe so what I think this quantum entanglement device will do it's just a personal opinion I don't even think my brother agrees with me uh, I think that it's gonna be a combination of the Gersh device the golden rod from Call of the Dead and the meteor from Shangri-La uh, Treyarch would have a way to know if you have done these things because you got you got accomplishments for them so that's just like an idea maybe uh, doing them doing the achievements will get you a better quantum entanglement device because what I think was gonna happen the quantum entanglement device is gonna maybe turn zombies into humans maybe 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 uh, like the Vril but this time they'll be like better soldiers I guess they're, they're gonna fight back it's a big big shot it's one of just one of my theories my opinion uh, don't troll and be like what the fuck that's impossible <laughs> I know it's impossible I think I just would love to see that happen I could totally imagine Richtofen just like working on the Gurch putting up sh like hooking up the golden rod and doing some shit with the meteor and just turning it into a crazy weapon uh, but it would be amazing from Treyarch if they did something like that. So I think the achievements, all the achievements that you should have gotten from Shangri-La and Call of the Dead are going to be important for the next map. Uh, it's really easy for Treyarch, once again, to know if you did the achievements and it might help you. Um, yeah, I think, oh yeah, that's it. So I hope you enjoyed the video, guys. I hope it was really instructive. Uh, make sure to check us on August 23rd we're gonna be the first ones playing that map as usual we're gonna upload a video of the gameplay as soon as it comes out and uh, make sure to follow us on Twitter guys at zombies Intel and uh, that's it I'll talk to you later peace out